Hello, my name is Joe and welcome to this Express Technical Training video. Today we're going to be looking at the Contour tool and all the different uses that you can use it for. Now firstly, from previous videos, you should be at a point where you can add a cut line to the outside of a design. As simple as it gets is from this example here, this is just basically adding a cut line to some artwork. Now with this, it's great because obviously it works and you can now print and cut. However, all machines have a natural cut tolerance where the machine might miss slightly. It's completely normal, all machines have this. A good way to combat that is with the contour tool here. So firstly, we're gonna do this circle. because I'm gonna show you an inside contour on this piece of artwork. If I zoom in, currently you can see that the contour outline is right on the edge of the artwork there. What we want to do is we want to bring that cut line in to stop that natural tolerance from taking over and ruining this particular cut. So to do that, we need to select our piece of artwork and go to the contour tool. If it's not open on the right hand side here, the contour tool can be accessed from effects and contour. Once you have your contour tool open, select the piece of artwork that you want to begin working on and then you need to set up the contour alignment on the right hand side here. Firstly, we need to set the correct outline and fill color. Fill color is actually not that important, but the outline color is. So the outline, if we select from here, normally you're going to see something looking a little bit like this. To select the correct outline color, use the color eyedropper tool here and select the cut contour palette from your palettes on the right hand side of Coral Draw. This will then set cut contour to be your default outline color. You can then change fill to whatever color you like. I have it set to just white so that I can see where my contour is. However, a lot of people like to use different colors such as blue or a sort of off blue so that it's a color that's not really gonna come up in the artwork very often. Now I'm going to select inside contour from the top here. This is gonna bring the cut line inwards. You can see on the left hand side, my contour has already taken effect from when I was setting the colors. This is normal, so don't worry too much. We're now going to set the offset to 0.2 millimeters. Now your offset value will really change depending on what uh, size the artwork is. If your artwork's 50 centimeters wide, you might get away with an offset of two or three millimeters. It really depends on the artwork, so you can change it however you like. I'm just going to use 0.2 on this 30 by 30 circle here. So what we need to do is click apply, which will bring the contour in on that circle. I'm now going to go to my objects tab and you can see a contour group has now been formed. I'm going to right click the contour group and click break contour apart. I can now change this ellipse to whatever I want. So I'm going to make it no fill. And I'm just going to ensure that the outline is hairline, which you can see it is here. I'm then going to select the original ellipse that I had, and I'm just going to right click to get rid of the original outline. So if I zoom in now, you can see that the pink cut contour outline is on the inside of the artwork, and that's gone inside by 0.2 millimeters. That's really good because that means that now the machine's natural cut tolerance won't be as bad. It won't be out any longer. Now on text, such as this Express Technical down here, you might find it easier to weed if it's just one piece. So to make that possible, especially for stickers and stuff like that, it's really important. To make that possible, we can use the outside contour here. And we could set an out offset value of 0.8 on that outside contour. If I then click apply, that's now put a contour around the outside of all the text. If I just go back to objects and clean it up as you would, let's go to contour, break the contour group apart and just get rid of the inside cut line on the text. You can now see we have this design here where it's got the sort of bubble effect around the outside of the text. You can see that's where it's going to cut. 
obviously that makes it a lot easier for you to weed uh, but not only that it also looks quite cool in some situations i really hope this video has helped you if you need any further help please go to expresstechnical.co.uk where we'll be more than happy to take your call give you help with any issues you may have thank you